you can turn out a delicious slab of ribs in your kitchen. We're going with what we call an 831 plus one rub. Eight parts of light brown sugar, three parts of kosher salt, and one part of chili powder. Shake to combine. There are six things that we like to mix up into that one part, starting with black pepper, cayenne, jalapeno seasoning, little Old Bay, rubbed or dried thyme, and that leaves us with just enough room for onion powder. Yeah, that's one part. Again, we cover and shake. Now lay each slab out on its own big piece of heavy duty aluminum foil. Lay on the rub and don't be prissy about it. There. Now these are gonna go right back into the refrigerator for at least one hour before cooking. For moisture and acidity, one cup of white wine, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of honey, two smashed and chopped cloves of garlic. We're gonna put this in the microwave for one minute. Minutes up, just open up one end of the crimp. Half the liquid goes into this side and half the liquid goes into this side. Next stop for these bad boys is a 225 degree oven for two and a half hours. Lay the packet right in the middle of the pan like that. Take your kitchen shears and just snip a hole in the foil. Now all in all, I'd say that we got about a cup and a half of liquid back out of this. After about five, maybe 10 minutes on high heat, this is going to convert down to a beautiful rich glaze. Literally paint the glaze right onto the meat. This goes under the broiler as little as 30 seconds. There we go, that's it.